Later that day. At casa del Bean Farm. Is that? Is that a dog? What's wrong with its eyes? What kind of game is this? What the heck? Howdy folks, and welcome to Green Farm Gaming. And this is our review of Cross the Moon. Shut the moon! I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by... Oh, and look, it's Patrick Rainville. It was published by those crafty guys over at Ravalaka. Did you hear that, Team Hunters? Ravalaka! It is set to be released on June 18th for four nine nine. This week's release is a visual novel, so it's highly encouraged for you to go into the options first thing toggle on the skip unseen text and go ahead and max out the text display speed and auto forward speed. That'll help you a lot. Cross the Moon is another visual novel from Radalaka. Another one? Yeah, if you haven't been paying attention, they started a visual novel division last year just to give us something to do during the great COVID crisis of 2020. Another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one. They've continued to spit out a few visual novels here and there just to keep their fans and achievement hunters appeased, which they have. Right away, you'll probably notice that Cross the Moon has a very unique art style. Unlike most Eastern anime visual novels, this game uses a creepy color-hued static photograph for backdrops that look like they're aged or from the 1960s. The characters, too, also appear as static hand-drawn images, which, in typical visual novel formatting, it really helps to build the atmosphere for this murder mystery novel about humans and vampires coexisting in a dark and gritty pseudo-reality. The background music really helps to build the mood and atmosphere, although you probably won't be able to tell that from this video review as I've sped through all the BMG. And although the music was somewhat on a looped, repeatable track, it really helped bring the world to life. The game plays out as a written novel which has absolutely no dialogue choices and sporting over a hundred thousand words of text. Cross the Moon really relies on its theme and atmosphere to keep it afloat. The only real player interactions occur in specific scenes you press B to engage with the object being shown on the screen. Wow. For all you achievement hunters out there, you're in luck. If you followed my initial recommendation to set up your options to skip the text and basically fly through the game, you too can blaze a trail through this cheap completion in about five minutes. What? You don't believe me? Alright guys, bring it in. <laughs> That's right. As always, I'll leave the link to his guide right up here. How's it going, buddy? Overall, there really isn't much to say about this title. It really has an appealing, artsy, retro, vampire noir feel to it, and the vampire love story probably will find a liking from some of those fans who tend to wear the whole socks inside their slides thing. <laughs> <laughs> Time to man up, bro. <laughs> and as I've previously mentioned, there is no gameplay what to speak of, and if someone took the time to read all through all 100,000 words of text here, I'm not really sure that they've got any reason to come back for another playthrough. <laughs> you know, visual novels be what they are, and us achievement hunters be what we be. Cross the moon is artsy, but it only gets three beans out of five. Well, that wraps up this review. We do them every week, covering new and unreleased console indie titles that are either easy achievement and trophy completions, or have really blown our socks off. 
To help celebrate the American Independence Day, the Bean Farm and eight other content creators pulled our extra Xbox game codes together to create a massive giveaway of over 300 games. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> To throw your hat into the ring, just find the announcement on the Bean Farm Twitter feed or search for In-Depth Gaming on Twitter. The winners will be announced after the 4th of July celebration. Special thanks goes out to the sponsors of this giveaway, ID at Xbox, Liquid Bit Games, Zydalon, Rattalaka, Renoco Games, and Studioness. We really do owe much of our content support to these small studios and publishers. Be sure to visit again next week. We'll be covering the new release from Rattalaka. Angels and Scooby Wings. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Frog.